What's up you guys? My name is Justin and welcome to my channel 502 Fragrance Reviews or if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, welcome back to my channel. It's been about I think 10 months since I've last uploaded the video. A lot has changed been going on in my life. Fortunately a lot of things for the better. I hope things have been going great for y'all as well throughout this you know pandemic and this times that we're living in. But I'm finally back to the YouTube scene. Very excited. And as you can tell by the title below, I'm gonna show you guys my top 10 spring fragrances for my collection for this year, 2021. I know other YouTubers have already been putting out their top 10 lists. Now it's time for mine. So, if that sounds interesting to you, let's hop into it. The first fragrance I wanna talk to y'all about is one that when it comes to in the fragrance community, it is very popular. Other YouTubers have talked very highly on this fragrance for the most part. And it's one that I enjoy as well. And this comes from the house of Mancera. And this is Mancera's Oud Lemon Mint. This fragrance right here. This is a creamy, citrusy, woody fragrance. It's got a nice underlying sweetness to it that to me is very versatile. I can wear this through many different, pretty much every occasion. And I think I can get away wearing this year round as well. Just go less on the sprays in the hotter weather. But this is one that is a very nice fragrance. You can easily find this from discounters for under $100 for a four ounce bottle, which is tremendous value. And in my experience so far from wearing this, I have gotten really good positive attention from this fragrance. People ask me, you know, hey, it smells really good. What are you wearing? These are the kind of reactions I've gotten from Mancera's Aoud Lemon Mint. Very versatile, yet unique, still wearable, and great performance. That's Mancera's Aoud Lemon Mint. The next fragrance I want to talk to you guys about was in my top 10 summer list last year, but I do want to feature it in this year's spring list. I think spring and summer is just fine for this fragrance. This comes from the house of Hermes, and this is Terre d'Hermes Autre Fresh. This one right here. This, for those of y'all that are lovers of citrus fragrances, this is a citrus fragrance that you have to get your nose on. It's a very authentic orange fragrance, like freshly squeezed orange. It's got some aquatic nuances as well and some woodiness to back that orange citrusy freshness. It's one for me that I think I can wear this dressed down or dressed up. Um, I do work at a bank now, so I do dress more nicer and this works just fine in the workplace. This is one that won't offend anybody. If you have a local Sephora around you, there's a chance that you may find this along with other Terra Dermes fragrances in the Sephora. You won't find it in your dealers at Macy's. This is a fantastic fragrance. If you love citrus, you gotta try Terra Dermes Ultra Fresh. The next fragrance I wanna to talk to y'all about is one that has picked up some good attention in the fragrance community. But however, and when it comes to like the average consumers in your mainstream department stores, this is one that's pretty polarizing. This comes from the house of Moschino. And this is Moschino's Toy Boy. This one right here. Now, I enjoy this fragrance. People that are in the fragrance community for the most part, I feel like they enjoy it too. It's still more of an acquired taste. This is a heavy rose-based fragrance. It's a spicy, musky rose fragrance that I think can be worn dressed down or dressed up pretty easily. And I ain't gonna lie to you. This one is heavy on the rose. So if you're a person that's not a fan of rose fragrances, I would sample this first. At the very least, still try it because you may end up liking it, you never know. However, I think that for most people, it's gonna be polarizing. If you're a guy watching this video and you're thinking, oh, okay, I don't wanna smell like rose or floral fragrance, odds are you are not in the fragrance community. You're someone that's more casually into fragrances which is fine, nothing's wrong with that, but you've got to start branching out more and trying more fragrances. Nothing wrong with guys wearing florals. I wore this to work the other day and I went out for lunch and when I came back, my coworker said, wow, you left an amazing scent trail through the lobby of the bank. I'm like, oh, really? Cause this is, this is strong, great performance. This is Moschino's Toy Boy 
a really nice, very different designer release. I really appreciate it. Try out this fragrance. The next fragrance I want to talk to y'all about, it's still my signature scent. Uh, there may be another fragrance in this list that may overtake it soon though. However, this is a great fragrance. This comes from the House of Parfums, the Marley, and this is Layton. If you're someone that is casually into fragrances, you mainly know your stuff that's in department stores, Dillard's, Macy's. When you start getting into your more niche or higher end fragrances, you will hear about this at some point in your journey. I know you will. This is a fantastic fragrance that I think is versatile. You can wear it across different situations, different seasons. This is fruity, this is vanillic, this is spicy, it's creamy. This is one that is very, very nice. And like how other people will tell you, they get really good reactions from it from people around you. This is known to be a compliment magnet for what it's worth from women. You wanna get really good positive attention from women, try out a few sprays of this. There is a good chance that she will tell you that you smell amazing. This is still an amazing fragrance for me. Great for the springtime as well. That is Parfums de Marley's Late. The next one I wanna to talk to you guys about is one that I featured in my summer list last year, or maybe it was the spring. It was one of the two. But I kind of got reacquainted with this fragrance and I'm still enjoying it pretty well. This comes from the house of John Barbados, or John Barbados, however you wanna pronounce it. This is Artisan Pure. This one right here. Typically, when you see fragrances in a white bottle, you can almost guarantee it's gonna be a more fresh style fragrance. And this one, it's good. Whereas Terre de Hermes Ultra Fresh, I talked to you guys about, is more of a citrusy, woody fragrance. This is more of a citrus aromatic fragrance. Now, once again, if you're someone that's into casual, casually into fragrances, you may or may not like this, it depends. For my time of being in retail, selling fragrances in retail stores, I've gotten mixed reviews of this actually from average, pe average consumers because the aromatic notes, the, er the herbalness that's underneath this, the bitterness that's in this fragrance, some people do find it off-putting, but they're smelling it up close though. In the air, how you should test it. In the air, this smells very nice. It's sophisticated, it can be worn dressed up or dressed down, great white t-shirt fragrance. I know the price for some reason on discounters has gone up on this. I could be wrong. This used to be going for like 30 bucks, 40. Now I'm seeing it for like 50, 60 bucks. I don't know why it's going up. But anyway, this is a fantastic fragrance. Great in a workplace environment. If you work in an office or something like that, great. This is John Roboto's Artisan Pure. Got some new fragrances I wanna to talk to y'all about. I've been picking up some releases um, since me going off of YouTube for a while. I have downsized my collection a lot, but I'm bringing it back up. This next fragrance I want to talk to y'all about is one that is very nice, not well talked about in the community. Shout out to Equality Fragrances, his YouTube channel. Subscribe to him if you haven't. He's talked about this fragrance very, very highly. I agree. Istanbul from the house of Unique Luxury. This one right here. This fragrance gets compared very heavily to Killian's Love Don't Be Shy right here. And for those of y'all that have not smelled that fragrance, that's picked up a lot of buzz in the mainstream world because that is Rihanna's favorite fragrance. Now, if you're a guy watching this, you like, why would I want to smell like a woman? <sighs> Don't do that. Don't do that. This is definitely unisex. Everything is unisex though. Y'all should know this. Everything is unisex. This is fruity. It's got like this burnt, caramelic sweetness, vanillic sweetness underneath as well. It's fruity, it's a little bit floral, it's sweet. And man, does this perform. This performs very well. In my wearing experience so far, wearing this, it's, to me, it feels like it's close to the skin. But to others around me, I've been told that it projects very, very heavily. This is a fragrance that if you do purchase this after watching this video, it will not look like this anymore. The bottle design has changed, and whereas my juice color is dark, the newer formulation is like a almost like a clear color. But I've been told from the owner that it's still, you know, very potent. This is a great fragrance. 
easily great for nights out or something more outgoing, check out Unique Luxuries Istanbul. I'll do a, a review on this soon. The next fragrance I wanna to talk to y'all about is actually a clone. It's a clone fragrance. And for those of y'all that have a, some weird thing against clones, uh, you might wanna skip this part. This comes from the House of Alexandria Fragrances, which for those of y'all have not heard this brand, Alexandria Fragrances is mostly a clone house. They make clones of more expensive fragrances. They do got some original creations as well, but this is right here, it's a clone. This is Arabian Forest. This one right here. Arabian Forest by Alexandria is their clone of Creed's Spice and Wood. This one right here. So this one's definitely more of a mature scent to me. It's more classy, it's more elegant, it's more sophisticated. I think a younger person won't appreciate this as much or someone that only knows Dior Sauvage and Blue Chanel, they won't appreciate this at first. But this is very classy. When you're dressed nicer, this will be very good. It's woody and spicy, kind of like how the name Creed Spice and Wood, you know, goes. But in addition to the woods and spices, you got a nice fruitiness in here, a nice muskiness. It is very easy to pull off to me. This is one right here where it's a mature style fragrance, but I don't think it's gonna be off-putting to those around you. It's an easy wear to me. And with me working in a bank now, I wanna start grabbing more sophisticated fragrances, more office-like CEO boss-like fragrances. And this is definitely one. This is Arabian Forest by Alexandria Fragrances, their clone of Creed's Spice and Wood. The next fragrance I wanna to talk to y'all about, oh man, this has already been pulling me crazy reactions. And pretty much anyone that has this fragrance, I've been reading and looking up stuff, they say the same thing. It just gets positive attention, man. This comes from the house of Mancera once again, second Mancera the video. And this is Instant Crush. This one right here, nice gold bottle. This one, oh man. This one is their, to me, inspiration of Baccarat Rouge 540 right here. Another popular niche fragrance. They don't smell exactly the same. This to me, actually, I like better than Baccarat Rouge 540. This has a nice floral aspect with some creamy sweetness from vanilla. Also got some creamy sandalwood in here as well. Very creamy fragrance. Got some spice as well. This is very airy, but boy, do I tell you, it lingers in the air. The scent trail of this is insane. And it's one, since it's more on the airy side, at least in my experience and my opinion, this is something that's not dense, meaning it won't be overbearing to those around you. This is one that I think could be worn in any situation. I wouldn't dress this up personally, but everything else, dates, nights out, casually, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be killer. This one is Mancera's Instant Crush. Another one that you can find, once again, Mancera easily for under a hundred bucks. Man, you got to try this one out. Great fragrance. Before I hop into this next one, something I wanna let y'all know, the reason why I've been building my collection back is because I've gotten into decanting now a lot. You know, decanting out juice for my fragrances to buy more fragrances. And if there's any fragrance that I'm showing y'all that y'all don't have access to where y'all live at, definitely leave down in the comment section below if you're interested in trying any of these because I do, like I said, I decant now. I sell decants, a three ml, five ml, this is how I've been building my collection back up because I got bills and stuff now. I, I got way more, I'm back in school, I got way more important stuff than just fragrance. But I've been building my collection by doing decanting. So any of these that y'all find very interesting that y'all want to try out, they're down in the comment section below. We can email like Instagram or something like that. I'll sell you a sample of any of these so you can experience it for yourself while at the same time supporting me to get more fragrances. The next fragrance I want to talk to y'all about, to me, is the true king of spring. People want to talk to y'all about how Green Irish Tweed, Creed's Green Irish Tweed, Bonham and Nine's Bleecker Street. Oh, those are the kings of spring. Oh, are you sure about that? Nah, nah, those are great fragrances, but I'm gonna show y'all the real king of spring that no one's talking about. This comes from the house of Rogue Perfumery, and this is Mousse Illuminae. 
this beautiful green juice right here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh my God, man. Okay, so someone that's more inexperienced with their nose with spilling fragrances, someone that knows just your Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, they probably won't appreciate this at first. A more younger, younger person probably won't appreciate this either. This is paying homage to the throwback powerhouse fragrances from back in the day. They're more powerhouse 80s fragrances, but this is modern. It's a modern twist on it. Very natural. This brand is not IFRA compliant. They use whatever they want. This is heavy and oak moss, real oak moss. This is green, soapy, but there's some underlying sweetness in here too. I, I get the sweetness. I don't know what it's from just yet, but it is so nice. This can be dressed up so good. <laughs> Man, no other YouTuber really is talking about this fragrance. I know Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews, he talked about this, but all your other bigger YouTubers, no one's talking about this, man. This is the true king of spring. I guarantee you, if the bigger YouTubers talk about this, I guarantee you it'll be the hype will be through the roof for this. But I'm a small YouTuber, so it'll still be under the radar. This is Rogue Perfumery's Mousse Illuminate. If you love green fragrances, throwback style fragrances oh boy you had to try this the real king of spring and the last fragrance i'm gonna talk to y'all about a hey, a hey, this is so far in my fragrance journey i'm not even capping i'm not lying to you i'm not trying to hype this up this is the best fragrance i've ever smelled so far in my journey this comes from the house of kajal and this is Kajal's Lamar. This beautiful bottle right here. This is a beautiful, fruity, floral, vanillic fragrance. Oh, this is killer. Oh gosh, dude. Killer. Excellent performance. It's got like this airy quality to it. So this is another one that to me, once again, it's not dense. So to me, it won't be overbearing to those around you. I've already started getting positive attention from this. The other day, I came down the elevator and I was walking, you know, outside. And there was these girls that was walk running past me to try to catch the elevator. They missed it. And I heard them. They say, they said, damn, he smells so freaking good. That was this, this one. This did that to them. This is going to be a problem, man. Oh my God. Fruity from accounts of red berries and pineapple. Floral on the accounts of rose. You got some toffee and vanilla in here. This is a 10 out of 10 fragrance, guys. You can wear this year round, no problem. But for the spring, it's gonna be just killer. Kajal's. Lamar. This isn't this these phrases aren't ranked in the order, but if I had to do number one, <laughs> it's this one. If you want to get a sample from me, let me know. This you have to try. That's all I got for y'all today, man. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm about to put out a lot more content. I'm gonna put out some videos, giving out some unique content that I can say I can put out because I've been in retail selling fragrances. I'm gonna put out some stuff that I think y'all really appreciate seeing, you know, subscribers that's been subscribing me for a while. Um, I've put out unique videos in the past from a unique perspective, and I got a lot of great support on that. But anyway, I'm back, guys. I hope you have a nice day, nice evening, more videos coming soon. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Till next time.